Greetings and salutations. So today I'm going to be reacting to my first year of university results. Unfortunately, this is not a live reaction. I have already seen all of my grades and I think it's pretty safe to say I am happy with them. A lot of my content is for students and I also have a Discord server and it's called Superior Students with over 300 students. So it's only right that I share with you my results and show that I'm not a poser. So if you didn't know already, I study business at the University of Exeter. So I'm gonna go through each module and talk a bit about all of the assignments, the different assignments that were in them and how I found all of them. If you don't know how the British university system works, uh, first class is basically a 70 and up. A 2-1 is between 60 and 69 and a 2-2 two -two is 50 to 59. And anything below that, there's third and then fail. But we don't talk about that over here. So for starters, we've got business and society. My overall module mark was 70. So I got a first for that module, which is good. So for that one, I had a group report, a challenge log and an exam. Two of which I got a first for and the exam I got a 2-1 in. I really, really liked that a business and society module. It allowed you to express your creativity and it wasn't too research heavy, if that makes sense. Very happy with that. You can't be mad if you get a first for your overall grade. So that's a plus. Next one is business practice and analysis. And for both assignments, I got a first. So my overall module mark was a first. Again, really, really enjoyed the module. Another really creative one, like, I really like my course. When you think of business, a lot of you might have an, the idea in your head that it's very boring or whatever it might be, but at the University of Exeter, it really allows you to express your ideas, your creativity. It's not just exams, exams, exams. The assignments are very creative and they're actually enjoyable, which sounds weird, I know, but sometimes it can actually be very enjoyable doing these assignments which encourages me to focus on them more and then that's why I get higher grades. It's a lot easier to get higher grades when you actually enjoy what you're studying. So if you're thinking of going to uni, make sure that you have a look at what the modules are under the course because say you like geography, yeah, maybe that university does do geography, but it might be the geography that you don't really have an interest in. Or the way that the course is structured might be very boring to you, it might be very research heavy, it might be very exam heavy. So just make sure you have a look at the things that you're going to be studying if you are going to university. Okay, next we've got operations management. This one's a bit on the lower end, still a very good grade. I still passed, I got 63, which is a 2-1 for the module, 64 for the group report and 62 for the individual report. I can't complain. It is a bit on the lower end for my grade, but I'm happy and it's still a fairly high pass. Okay, next we've got marketing in a digital age. I got a 70, which is a first. Marketing was probably my favorite module because I just love the way that it's taught. Again, very, very creative. Like, I mean, I guess I did have an unfair advantage because I've got my own social media marketing agency. That helped a lot in doing my assignments. But yeah, really happy with that, 70. Accounting was unexpected. That's my highest module pass grade, 78 is insane. For the midterm exam, I got 80, and for the uh, final exam, I got 77. Now, if you're a university student, you know those are actually pretty insane results, and I'm surprised by those myself. <laughs> okay, so the next module I took was Theory and Practice of Management, and I got a first, 70%. Very happy with that. I just realized, this is not to toot my own horn, but whenever I do individual assignments like the individual report or exam or whatever, I get like a first or a higher grade. And the grade that seems to bring me down on my group uh, assignments, because like for example, my group presentation for theory and practice of management, I got 64, which is a two one, still good grade. I'm not complaining, 
and in marketing I got 64 as well, project presentation, which was within a group. That might be saying something, but I don't know. The next module I took was understanding working organizations. I got 64, 2 1, which is a pass. For the exam, I got 67, and for the report, I got 60. Now, this was one of the modules that I took at the very beginning of university, so it was in the first term. So I was still trying to get used to how assignments worked. I didn't really know what the lecturers were looking for, what gave you all the marks. And if you're a university student, you know that referencing is... I had no idea what I was doing with the referencing, so that definitely affected my grade. But the more you do it, the better you get at it, which is why my grades were able to get higher going through the year. But yeah, 64, still a very good grade. I'm happy with that pass. And my final module that I took was uh, Introduction to Economics. My lowest grade out of all of the modules. Still a pass. I got 57% for that one, which is a 2-2. Two, two. 60 for the exam and 50 for the group report. See what I said before about group reports, but no, but that one was also a module that I did at the very beginning of the year of my first year, so none of us really knew what we were doing to be honest. But again, it's still solid when you look at my overall you know grades the majority of my modules I passed over first I'm not quite sure what my overall pass mark is for all of the modules totaled up but yeah I am very very happy with my first year results apparently it does get a lot harder the marking and assignments in second year but I'm looking forward to it because I really like my course so yeah that's pretty much the end of the video if you want to join other people like me who are pretty big on education, getting good grades and all that kind of stuff, you can check out my Discord server, The Superior Students, the coolest kids in town. There's over 300 of us now, so check that out, link in my description. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!